In previous video we have learned how to add and program edit field and a button. Now in this video we are going to finish building this app. So in order to do this first let me bring a checkbox to this canvas. Now in next step we are going to update our previous program. We are going to add the element of this checkbox also. So the new condition for our updated program would be like this. If this checkbox is checked and then we press the button, it should show welcome to learning vibes in this display or in this edit field. And if the checkbox is not checked and the button is pressed, it will display we are waiting for your response. So to achieve this, let's switch to the code view. Here we have already created this function button pushed, right? So we do not need to create this function again. So basically when this function is going to be executed, when this button is pressed in our application, this function is going to be executed. So now we are going to write our code from here. So first thing when we press this button, we want to do is, we want to check whether the checkbox is checked or not. So to do this, we'll use an if else conditional statement. If you want to understand if else statement and their logic in depth, you can check out my previous video. The link of the video is in description and above here in i button. Now we'll write our if condition if this checkbox is checked or not. So what is the name of this component? App.checkbox, right? If app.checkbox. Now again dot and what do we want to check? We want to check its value, right? Whether it is checked or unchecked that is the value of that checkbox right so we want to check its value so we have created this line app dot checkbox dot value this line will check whether the checkbox is in true condition or in false condition the line will be true when the checkbox is checked and it will be false when it is unchecked so what do we want we want to print something when the checkbox is checked so what do we do? We'll write is equal to true. So by this line we are checking the condition of checkbox. If this condition is true then what should happen? Then we want to write wow you like learning vibes in this edit field. So now it's time to add that condition. So if this is true we want to write something in this final output edit field. So we are going to write So by this line we have assigned this text to be placed in this edit field and if this condition is not true then we will write waiting for your response and then the condition ends. Now these two lines will make it as comment. Now let's place semicolon over here and over here. The purpose of this semicolon is to suppress the output. Now here you have observed one important difference. In this line I have mentioned equal to equal to true and in this line I have mentioned only one equal to. Then what is the difference between these two? So in MATLAB programming language this equal to equal to operator is used to test for equality between two values. It will check whether the value on left hand side and right hand side are equal or not. So the main purpose of this is to check equality and here that is what we want to achieve. But over here single equal to operator is used to assign some values. We want to assign this value to this edit field. Here we are not checking the condition of the edit field right. So whenever you want to assign some value to some variable we'll use single equal to. And whenever we want to check the condition on LHS and RHS whether they are true or false then we'll use double equal to. Now let's run the code. This is our application. Let's click this checkbox. Click on this button. And here we have an error. This error we made in our previous video also. right? This V should be capital. Let's run it again. Click this checkbox, press this button. 
The checkbox is checked and when we press the button, wow, you like the learning vibes. Now we'll uncheck the checkbox and press the button again, waiting for the response, right? Instead of this being oriented on left hand side, if we want to make it on right hand side, then simply what do we do? We'll copy this and paste over here and paste over here. This thing we learned in our previous video, so not repeating here. Run the code again, check, make it a little larger and press the button the orientation has changed so now let's close now let's go to design view now this is the app that we aim to build in order to build this we need two more checkbox so let's get two more checkbox here so now we are adding a little bit more complexity to this app first I'll show you whatever this app does so let's open the app so this is our app now let's see what this app does when we click this like and press the button it displays a message wow you like learning vibes then when you check this share and press the button it displays a message so nice you share learning vibes and the final condition is like this when you check this subscribe and press the button it shows great you subscribe learning vibes so this is what we want to implement now so now let's build this GUI in MATLAB app designer so here we have two new checkbox so we'll update their name according to the app that we require so first we'll write here like share subscribe while watching this video, if you think that this type of content is useful for you, please hit the like button. If you think that others should get benefit of this, please share this video. And if you want to learn or get updated about similar content, subscribe to this channel. Once you are done with this, like, share and subscribe. Now let's move ahead in this video. So this was the final output text. We do not want this text in our final app, so we'll remove it. We want to make the size of this display a little bit bigger, right? Like this. <coughs> this would be our button. Like, share, and subscribe. By clicking and dragging from here, we can reduce the size. Okay, so now again we'll go to code view and update the code as per our requirement. Now first we'll go through what is our updated condition. Here we have three conditions. If condition number one is true, then this message should be printed. Wow, you like learning vibes. If condition number two is true, then this message should appear. And if the condition number three is true, then this message should appear. And if none of the condition is true, then we'll display this message. So from this multiple condition, it is clear to us that we need to use an if else if conditional statement. Again repeating if else if conditional statement. So let's start with that if else if conditional statement. So now here we'll start with our first if conditional statement. What do we want to check? If this like checkbox is checked, right? So what do we do? We'll just copy this paste over here and update the name the name has been already updated because we have updated its name over here so its name is directly updated in code view so if this condition is true what do we want to print now we'll write this so if that condition is true we want to display a message wow you like learning vibes we'll keep its orientation on right hand side now we'll write second condition else if we'll again copy this for else if condition else if now we want to check another checkbox which one 
this second one and the name of this second checkbox is share which is this one so we'll go to code view we'll update its name over here instead of like we'll update here share so now we are talking about this share checkbox if the condition of this share checkbox is true then we want to appear another message and that message is so nice you shared learning vibes so we will replace this message so nice you shared learning vibes then we'll give another else if condition and this time we want to deal with this third checkbox and that one is this subscribe one so let's jump to this code view copy this paste it over here and just replace this share with subscribe and then we want to display another message and we'll replace this message over here great you subscribe learning vibes so if this condition is true this will appear if this condition is true this will appear if this condition is true this will appear if none of the condition is true let's remove this if none of the condition is true this message should appear at least choose one of them right so now here we have completed our logical program now let's run now let's test our code first we'll check this like and press the button wow you like learning vibes the first result is achieved now let's go for the second one so nice you shared learning vibes great now let's check third one great you subscribe learning vibes so are all the three conditions we have achieved and now i want to ask you whether you have liked to this channel whether you have subscribed to this channel or not if you have not did that thing please do it now now let's close this thing go to design view now it's time to change the appearance of this app so for that first we'll change the color of this app canvas so we'll click over here we'll go to this background color here we have varieties of standard color if we like any of this color we can select that color and that will appear on our canvas but if you have some specific color to choose then by changing this rgb value you can change your color or by changing the hex code you can change that color now we'll go to button just click this button change background color let's say make it red right by changing hex code also you can change the color if you want to change font style and anything that you can change from here now we'll go to this checkbox here it is helvetic font we'll change the font let's say we'll go to cambria where it is here if you want to change the size by clicking this we can change the size and by changing color from here we can update that also right and here also by changing hex code you can change the color so i have mentioned all the important details now there is small exercise for you you need to change the color the font size of this app as per our required app the font type font size font color and other color used in this app is being mentioned into the description box of this video so just prepare your app update all the colors and font and style and then write in comment section how was your experience in next video we'll make another app and explore another area of this matlab app designer so jump to this video and there we'll explore another area of this app designer